Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. And here we are, we're back at the Lunar Whale. Do not touch the crystal down there, otherwise you will go into an automatic sequence, which eh, we don't want to do yet. What we want to do right now is we want to head over to this big circular whatever it is. Because this is another side quest area. And you, well, you don't really need to do it before you go back to Earth, but it definitely wouldn't hurt. This is the Cave of the Phantom God, or Cave of the Father, or a whole bunch of other different uh, translations. Um, I want to equip the Mage Masher. See if I can take out the uh, Dark Wizard in the back there. The Dark Wizard in the back, if they're left alone... Uh, no, I want to cast Mini on them. Oh, uh, let's use Titan. Uh, the one in the back is susceptible to Piggy. These ones here are susceptible to Mini, so that's how you want to deal with them. The one in the back is also susceptible to Mini, though it doesn't really help since they're using... Ow! Yeah, you're not helping, game. Jeez. Uh, uh where is my Azuma spell? There we go. Wow, that was not very nice. Apparently they use Petrify, and they also run away. You kidding me, game? Well, that was fun. Oh, tell me Cecil has... There we go. Well, that was nowhere near as much fun as it was supposed to be. Anyway, the Dark Sage, or Dark Wizard, or whatever it was, weak to Mini, Piggy, and Silence. They also use Tornado if they're left alone, which is why I wanted to kill them first. The Moon Maidens apparently petrify you, which is really annoying. They also can be are susceptible to Mini. And if you care, you can steal Artemis arrows from them, which I believe they deal quadruple damage to um, dragons. Which, of course, it's a Final Fantasy game. We will be fighting some big dragons later. Uh, it will be useful. Now, we have the Genji gear here, and you can give it either to um, Edge or to Cecil, depending on your preference. I will look at his stuff a little later on, but for now, I'm going to start giving it to uh, Cecil there. And what else? That was painful. And up here we have a little secret passage leading to Genji Shield, which of course is going to go to Cecil since I want, uh, oh, what's his name, Edge to be dual wielding. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as the Aegis Shield. It's slightly different. Change of one uh, defense and two uh, magic defense. So you could basically use either one. It's entirely up to you. Uh, I like it to all of his gear to look the same. Okay, there we go. Same battle over and over again. The, uh, what were they? Those big giant red guys I ran into, uh... Oh, well. I ran into them at that, uh, the healing point in the Cave of the Lun Lunarians, or whatever that thing was. You can run into them here as well. They're still susceptible to stop, and they still have a lot of HP. You could also use Tornado on them like I showed you before, but basically I've been running into party of them, Moon Goddess, and Dark Wizard, and that means I can only use one type of uh, crowd control spell for each, which is really annoying. And... Be right back. Okay. No more bloody phone calls and other reasons not to... Uh, Oh, well, reasons to stop recording, anyway. Anyway, this guy is a Skull Dragon, weak to fire. So, you want to use Fire 3. And I want to use Isuna on you, because you're annoying and you're poisoned. And I'll have you cast Cure 2 on everyone, why not? Everyone can use a little bit of healing. Okay, a couple people do. There we go, that's some good damage. And of course, as soon as you do that, he'll counter with his flame ability, but it's the only way to do a lot of damage to him. Make sure the battle doesn't last forever, so... 
You want to do that? God, Fusoya. He's just like Tella. His stats are so much lower, and his like base power or something. Some of the somehow they calculate it, and his damage is just substantially lower than pretty much everyone else's. Now, stop doing that. Jeez, some enemies are just pure evil. And again, Genji armor. Seeing a trend here. Yeah, we're gonna get all the, uh, pretty much all the Genji gear while we're here. There we go. A little more defense. Why not? The reason why I haven't been giving it to Edge more than anything else is so that he can continue to get uh, power-ups. This guy is susceptible to mini. And other than that, you just beat on him with uh, powerful attacks. He's got some a decent amount of HP. So you could use Bio or Flare. Well, yeah, we have Flare. I haven't shown Flare off. But so yeah, do something useful. Use Flare. And one of the great things about Flare, Instacast just like Bio. Very nice. Of course, it does use a lot of MP, so I won't be using it too much with Fusoya because his MP is pretty pathetic. Again, just like Tella. Why are we getting a character like Tella at this point in the game? It, it really doesn't make a lot of sense, but whatever. There we go. Finally, all the Genji gear we can possibly need. And some healing. That would be beneficial, too. Definitely want to heal... Oops. For the upcoming fight, there's actually, uh, they've thrown these back on there. I think probably the, no, oh, no, I guess they did it in Final Fantasy 2 as well. I think they did anyway. We have battle points. And this is, I guess, like a little sub-boss. Anyway, this is a behemoth. And the way to deal with this guy is to attack with Cecil. And I want to use this. Well, that was kind of pointless. I didn't want to use a spider web on him. Oh, well. Yeah, basically, he's just going to counter everything you do, and he doesn't really do a lot to begin with. Where's my blink spell? There's my blink spell. Basically, you want to cast blink on pretty much everyone who's going to take hits. You could cast it on everyone, but I think that's a little overkill. Um, no, I don't want to attack with you. Basically, you just want to deal as much damage as possible. So, oddly enough, Mist Dragon actually does some decent damage. Uh, yeah, I want to use you because you have much better healing stat. Or, will stat. That's the one. Mist Dragon, not too useful in this game, but there are a few instances. It's alright, I guess. Basically, what the blink status does is it gives you a guaranteed evasion. Just like it uh, does in many other games. What was I going to cast again? Right, I want to cast Berserk on Cecil so he does some more damage. And that way, that will just kind of increase your damage per hit. Because you don't want to deal, you know, weak damage. Because he's just going to counter and hurt you a lot. Okay. You could cast Blink on everyone else. And I'll probably do that because he's uh, nah, where is it just because he's starting to deal quite a bit of damage and I don't really want to have to revive people and fight against time yeah unfortunately um, Fusoya really does need more MP he's already basically out of MP Come on. There we go. Yeah, I won't bother summoning that again. You could use Leviathan, but nah, why bother? Cecil does more damage than pretty much anyone else at this point. Uh, well, that we can deal reliable damage with. Everyone else can just kind of defend now that it's set up this way. There we go. Figures get it all set up and then the battle ends. And you get a lot of experience for that fight. And I think I'm going to want to heal up. Which, again, I said I wouldn't do on screen. And what am I doing? I'm doing it on screen. Ow, it's only twice. Whatever. 
Mm, nothing over there. That was just another battle with a behemoth, and of course it's in a spot where you can't possibly avoid it, so yay. Alright, we're almost to the end here. And that was the third fight with a behemoth. Okay, with him? You're only half, half what? Well, yeah, he's referring to, or she, whatever, he's referring to Cecil, you know, half Lunarian because of his father. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm, of course, very drained on MP by this point because of those uh, battles with the BMS, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use warp to, or, well, teleport to get out of here, heal up, and grab some things from my inventory, or my fat chocobo there, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. No game. Not fighting you, go away. Anyway... This is... Ah. Without light. Judge, jury, and executioner. Yeah! We get to fight Bahamut! And it's as fun as it always is. Step one, turn battle speed down. Step two, remember step one before starting to record next time. Check. Got that one down this time. Okay. Anyway, we want to start with... Um, oh, what am I going to have to throw at him? I don't have anything to throw at him, so... Yes, I have the right gear on. Attack. And... Yes, attack. Basically, you want those two to attack. You want... Rydia to use a spider web on him. Slow him down. Probably should have done that very first thing. Ah, well, whatever. And then you want to reflect. Set up reflect on everyone. Which is why it's beneficial to do this before going back to Earth. Because something will change in your party setup and it won't be a lot of fun anymore. Okay. Eh, well. Let's see. I'm going to want to use... Where is it? The light curtain from earlier. Basically, use it as an item. Cast Reflect. So I'm going to want to do that, and what do I have? I have nothing really worthy of using, so let's use Leviathan. And come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, want to set up Reflect. Edge is missing it, and so is Rydia here. So let's do that. Hopefully those both go off on time and nobody dies. Oh, well, there's Tsunami. I'm not too worried about that getting off before uh, his countdown finishes. I'm more worried about Reflect getting off. And well, there's one. Come on. Thank you. Whew. Scary on the timing there. Because once he finally counts down, we have to deal with... Bahamut at his full power. Mega Flare! <laughs> yeah, they give you a hint if you were at the library there in the uh, the world of summons there, or the world of phantom beasts. Uh, now we want to berserk Cecil. Oh right, that's... never mind. I was going to berserk him, I probably should have done that first, but oh well. Because that's just going to bounce off of him. And it does nothing. Um, basically, yeah, just keep attacking. A lot of the damage is done by Bahamut himself, but like I was saying in the the library there, one of the books said the only way to beat the uh, King of um, Phantom Beasts was to reflect his own power back at him. So, finally get to his turn. Another use for Flare, because of Instant Cast, and because... Well, we need the damage, and we need it now, basically. Uh, nothing you can really do. I've learned every white spell in the game, except the only one that will be useful in this fight, and that being Holy. So let's see if we can kill him before he does it again here. Let's summon Leviathan. Should be able to kill him before he gets another chance to uh, use Mega Flare. 
especially if I can get Fusoya's turn again. No, I don't need you. Ah, there we go. Yeah, if you're prepared and you have the timing down, which I got a little bit lucky, I was guessing at that timing. Um, yeah, you... Uh, it's, the battle's not too difficult. However, if you have no idea what you're doing, like I did in my first playthrough, you know, way back when, yeah, not a happy, not a happy guy, you know, go through this entire dungeon, don't go out and save, and then have to do the entire thing over again because I got killed. Well, I got destroyed. Anyway, I want to get the hell out of here because this place is no fun. Don't use the teleport spell very often. This is one area where I do use it. Anyway, come on. Well, yeah, that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Next time, we will take the Lunar Whale and we'll head back. And what will we do back on Earth? Well, you'll have, just have to find out when I see you guys next time.